Tell me what you're doing. I'm creating a video to um, share with the Catholic Education Foundation and Women's Giving Circle to help them understand our need at St. Mary Nativity School. I'm going to type in um, lower socioeconomic because I think it's important to, uh, to understand our area. So my name is Gina Pestrak. I'm the principal at St. Mary Nativity. It's not working. My name is Gina Pestrak and I am the principal at St. Mary Nativity School in Joliet. We are looking um, for some help and our proposal requests $5,000 to begin purchasing new student Chromebooks. My name is Lori Cabay and I'm a third grade teacher in the Diocese of Joliet. At our school, we currently have 24 iPads that are shared between second and third grade. Our class size is usually 34 students, so we need 12 more iPads to make a full class set. I have 28 students, uh, second grade has 35 students, so we need more iPads to create a full class set for every student. and. Even with having a full class set, we still have to share them. The video is actually the easy part to make because we had already had our research done about which iPads we wanted. Um, so it was just a matter of just putting like photographs of the kids and we put some slides together. Why don't we go ahead and transition now to a review of the, the $5,000 grant applicants, um, if you guys are okay with that. I think we are. You know, there's quite a distribution of need here. We also have several applications here, it looks like, for uh, electronic needs, iPads and individualized computers. Um, how did the rest of you feel about that distribution of, of asks? Um, you know, we're just not used to seeing that. I mean, the need is really, really great. I wish we could fund all of these. So after we submitted the video, um, we thought we had a really good chance of, you know, winning the grant. So we just had, we had to wait a couple weeks and then, um, and then we found out that we weren't chosen. We were disappointed not getting the funds for our project. Um, it's also frustrating to have to figure out new creative ways um, when you don't have a class set of something for your students. My hope is that in the future we can resubmit our project um, and find the right donor that you know would be able to help us. It's hard to go to those teachers that have poured their heart and soul into an application, into a video that took the time to submit an application to submit a video that are well qualified, that should be funded, but can't be because we just don't have the resources. And there's next to nothing that sets them apart from the grant down the street, from their fellow Catholic school that was funded other than there was slightly more need at the school 12 miles down the road. So we received a $5,000 grant and we purchased eight additional laptops with that money. We still would like to get up to the same number of laptops in our building as we have students. Um, we're not quite there yet, so that would be the first goal. We know that we're competing with schools that um, are able to provide their students not only with a laptop during the school day, but one that they're able to take home to use in their home environment as well. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's unfair and it puts the Catholic schools at a disadvantage because they're paying the tuition to attend our school and we can't provide them with those resources that they could get at a public school. We have such amazing teachers and such amazing principals. I don't want to be the one that dashes their hope. I don't want to be that person, but we just have so little resources that unfortunately that's part of the job. My hope is to bring this school current. It's not a big hope, it's not a, a crazy outlandish dream, but it's to have Chromebooks for the students to help them be successful in the classroom and for my teachers to be able to teach through Google Classroom and their other web-based curriculum. I'm, I'm not looking for anything very fancy other than having access to what we need for, for student success. 
So our families, um, again, they will do anything for their children. And that's the beauty of this school. They want a Catholic education. They worked hard with us in the past year under the pandemic to the point where we did not have any outbreak in our school because they wanted their children here. They, would, they, they took care of making sure that we all stayed safe and healthy because education is important to them. And so I would like the donors to understand the wonderful families that what I meant to do that we have here in our school. <laughs>